today we are going to see how to uh, authenticate uh, infoblox remotely using uh, microsoft windows of microsoft uh, active directed uh, user first of all we need to create a uh, create an active directory user and a group uh, to uh, do the remote authentication Here we can see uh, the group is info blocks uh, DNS uh, and uh, the same uh, group uh, which we need to create in the info blocks uh, appliance. moving to uh, infoblox ua and here we need to create a uh, authentication server group already on the response server group we are deleting it adding the user group again put any name here uh, a user uh, defined name uh, to identify the server group here we naming it uh, ad login and next is the domain name in our case it is cplab.org it is the active directory domain then i input the ip address of the active directory uh, server uh, in, in this case we are leaving the encryption as uh, none because we don't have any certificate uh, in the uh, in this case the username and password will be sent as a plain text in a production environment it is recommended to use an encryption in the server side otherwise a packet sniffer like uh, application can uh, sniff the username and password the test is uh, success so we can add uh, clicking test will uh, show if there any error adding the domain uh, if it is okay we can click add then save and exit Now we need to add a uh, authentication policy. Go to administration authentication policy then click uh, add and select active directory. Select the created uh, server group there and click add. Now we need to add a user group which which should be same as the user group in uh, active directory domain in our case it is infoblox dns it is info infoblox dns
adding a role to that uh, uh, newly created user group uh, adding dns uh, dscp to there uh, we didn't add the dns license in this case okay now we need to add the group here add the group in authentication policy okay uh, now we can uh, sign out and uh, try to login using active directory user there is no uh, local user uh, only admin user is available there is no other local user we are trying a remote login info add which is the username we created in active directory yes we got in using an active directory user that's all uh, that's all about uh, signing uh, remote login using active directory thank you